And then finally, you can't be a beekeeper if you don't have bees. So we're gonna talk about the two options that are easiest to get started if you don't currently have bees. And those options are a three pound package of bees or a four frame nuke, which stands for a nucleus hive. We'll talk about those in detail in just a little bit, but know that there are two options. So you just have to figure out what's best for you. All right, so we have talked about the honeybee and a little bit of biology. We've talked about the equipment that you need and the tools that you might invest in and the very basic fundamental tools. And now we're gonna talk about beekeeping a year at a glance. So we're gonna start with springtime and work our way back around to next spring. So before we do that, we wanna give you a few tips on how to manage your bees, how to work with them, how to interact with them. So let's talk about management or as maybe this photo shows some mismanagement. Not sure what's going on here. This is not a picture that you should expect to see when you're keeping bees. So I hate to break it to all of you, but when you get your bees, they're your little pets. You love them, you name, you start naming them. You get really excited. You maybe even give your queen a name, but they don't know who you are. They probably don't care who you are. They don't know you by name. And in fact, it's probably better to keep it that way. When your bees don't know you're there, that's a good thing. So really the best thing you can do as a beekeeper is watch for your guard bees. Those are the ones that give notification to the other bees that there's something intruding their hive. So you want your bees to not know that you're there. So let's talk about how to best do that. So working with honeybees, stay calm, move slow and don't act like a bear. That's the goal. I was also once told that working with bees is a lot like Tai Chi. You want to move smoothly and seamlessly in everything that you do. Now, don't be alarmed that when you're first working with a hive for the very first time, you might be a little shaky and hesitant and nervous, and that's quite all right. The more you work with your bees, the easier it will get. So know that trying to be very calm with working with bees for your first time, it's not very intuitive, but it just takes a little bit of practice. So the goal is to move smoothly and seamlessly. Uh, another thing that can be very helpful is wearing light colored clothing, light colored veils, light colored jackets, pants, because the bees aren't as attracted to that. If you wear a bright colored pink shirt or orange shirt, the bees tend to be more attracted to that. You wanna keep them off of you as much as possible. Another reason that moving slowly and seamlessly is really helpful is because the more that you're jerking around and dropping stuff and being nervous and pinching bees and doing all of this, they'll start to act the same way. So think of them as your mirror and they will act a lot of the way that you do. Another thing that's really helpful is using your smoker. So we talked about that a little bit, but the purpose of a smoker is the smoke helps to disable their ability to communicate and attack with one another. So when you put smoke on top of them, it just carry, it makes them carry along their way and go back to their business. So the thing that you're really looking for to help keep the temperament of your hive down is looking for these guard bees. So if you see a bunch of little bees all lined up in the frames looking right at you, that means that your bees now know that you are there and you want to remind them that you are not there. So you spray them with a little bit of smoke, a little goes a long way, and they'll carry about their way and go back to their business and so can you. So that's really a good trick is looking for those guard bees that are all lined up looking at you. If you see that, a little bit of smoke helps and you can carry on. Another thing that's really helpful is some loose fitting clothing. Tight fitting clothing tends to not work very well. They can sting through it. And a thing that I always like to do uh, is I'll wear my jeans and I'll pull my socks over the cuff of my pants. I'll tuck my shirt in. I'll make sure to pull all my hair up and put it inside my veil so that I don't have bees crawling in all nooks and crannies of my clothes. That's not very fun. So this is a very important slide. Uh, it talks a little bit about the step-by-step -step instructions of what spring is gonna look like through winter next year. Now, remember I said at the very beginning, there are no rules in beekeeping. So, although we will go through a relatively step-by-step -step list, know that there's a lot of things that can go different ways along your path. So we're gonna talk about the ideal season of beekeeping. So the very first step is you gotta get some bees. So you'll either get a nuke or a package probably, and you have to install that package. And we'll talk about it in just a little bit. After you install your bees, you wanna look into inspecting your hive. 
Well, when you're inspecting your hive, how often do you do it? What do you look for? How do you know if it's doing well? How do you know if it's not doing well? What do you do? We'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, third, you want to manage your mites. The Varroa mite is a challenge to beekeepers in America, and if we don't manage our mites, we'll be in trouble. I said at the beginning, our hives need, a, our bees need a dry place to live, they need food, and they need parasite management. So if we can provide those three things, they will do just fine. After your hive is thriving and growing and exploding, we gotta keep a lid on it. How do we keep our bees in our hive and keep them from swarming? How do we know when they need more room and when they're gonna start producing honey and to put a honey super on? We'll talk about that. Then what does honey harvest look like? How much do I take? How much do I leave? And then finally, how do I get them ready for winter? How do I keep them warm and keyword dry? So let's talk about that very first step, which is getting some bees. So carniolans are coming in from Cohen's in three pound packages. Nukes are coming from Wooten's Golden Queens along with three pound packages, both stocked with hygienic Italians. So if you buy a nuke or package, you will get a queen in that. But those are the options that you can order through D&B. So let's talk about specifically those different options and what the advantages are to each one of them. So on the far right, excuse me, the far left, we have a live bee nuke. Again, that stands for a nucleus hive, which essentially means a miniature hive. So inside of that box, there's gonna be three or four frames of bees with brood and a queen, and there'll be a feeder frame that's gonna help them get going. We'll talk about feeding a little more in just a second. But inside there, they're established. They have wax that's drawn out. Hopefully there's some brood. The queen is established, ready to go. And so the way you install it is you pull the frames out, and you set them into your hive, and it's that easy. This is a really great option for first-time beekeepers because the installation is very easy, and they tend to take to their new home better because they're more established on their frames. The next option is a live bee package, which is the option here in the middle, and it is a box full of bees, no joke there. It is a wooden box, with uh, some netting on the side to allow the bees to breathe, and there's three pounds of bees in there. There's also a queen in there inside that little tin can that you can barely see there on the top. The advantage to this is you get a lot of bees. There's three pounds of bees in there. The installation is slightly more challenging, um, but if I can do it, anyone can do it, so I fully believe that. The way you install these is you take the queen, she's in a little cage by herself, you wedge her between two frames, you turn that box upside down and you shake the bees into the box. And they all pile up and they kind of get disoriented for a while and then they settle on in. Uh, the a disadvantage to this is if you're putting it into a, a hive box that doesn't have any wax drawn out in it, they are going into a box without any wax drawn out in it and they have to start from the very beginning. So their establishment time takes a little bit longer, but packages tend to be cheaper in price. So there's pros to both. So you might just think about what your budget looks like, how you might be comfortable installing them, and you can go from there. Also, you can buy live queens just by themselves. Buying live queens by themselves is helpful if you want to requeen your hive. So if you have a hive coming from last winter, you might want to requeen her because first year queens swarm less than second or third year queens. And first year queens, also produce, tend to produce a lot better than older queens. Um, and it's generally a good practice. Also, if you have a queen that's just not performing well, you can buy a new queen to replace her. So if you have a queen that's not performing well, you really should replace her. It's not personal. She might get mad for a second, but then she'll be dead when you kill her and replace her with a new queen. But it's very important if you want your hives to do well, you gotta put a queen in there that's gonna do the job. And if you have one that's not, you can get a nice new queen to put there in her place. How, many bees you get with a nuke to how okay, yeah, how many bees do you get in a, nuke pa in a nuke versus a package? It's slightly less, but I don't know that it's significantly different, so. But the, the packages, they kind of advertise them as three pounds with nukes. It might vary a little bit. All right, so this is a picture that shows you in real life what those options look like. So here on the right, we have a nuke that has four frames and then a feeder frame. We'll talk about those in just a second. 
And again, the installation is really easy. You just pull those frames out and set them into your hive. Uh, and then you put empty frames around it so that it fills in the eight frames or 10 frames that you have in your hive. Great option. Also here, we have our packages. They're just boxes of bees. It looks like this is in maybe a, a semi truck that's being delivered uh, and they're just stacked full in there. So that's what those look like in real life.